Now we're gonna make one of my favorite dishes to eat. It's a miso glazed black cod. And so we're gonna start with making the marinade, which is also the sauce. So we're gonna take about a half cup of miso paste, about a half cup of sake. And you know, these days you can find sake in any grocery store. I'm also gonna add a half cup of mirin. Mirin is a Japanese sweetened vinegar, rice vinegar. And then we're gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. So you don't wanna to add too much, about a tablespoon. And then lastly, we're gonna add about half a cup of sugar. Once again, you don't have to measure. Whatever it is, is gonna be perfect. Okay, so now you got your miso, you got your mirin, you got your sake, sugar. You just wanna whisk all the ingredients together. You know, if you're feeling lazy, you could throw everything into the blender. It doesn't really matter. So now we're gonna take our beautiful black cod, which is also known as sable fish. It's a very oil-rich fish. And I mean, it's a fish you can almost never overcook. And we're just gonna cut some nice big steaks there and, and marinate it right in the miso sauce. So we're just dropping these guys right in. You can let it marinate. It's best to do it overnight, but it doesn't really matter if you only got a couple hours, that's fine too. So now I'm gonna put it in our refrigerator and we'll get the rest of the dish ready. So for the first step, we're gonna take our shiitake mushrooms and cut the hard stems off the bottom. And you should save these if you're making a chicken stock or something else. They add great flavor. So we're just gonna cut these off real quick right at the base of the cap. And then if you stack a couple together, you can cut them faster. And we're just gonna slice them like this. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of bok choy. I'm just gonna cut this real quick and you can cut it any way you like. I like to just slice it. Bok choy is kind of dirty. You wanna make sure you really wash it well. A lot of dirt gets in between all the leaves around the stem. And so just make sure you get all that dirt out. <clears throat> now I'm gonna slice my garlic. I'm just doing a couple cloves. So now that our black cod's been marinating for the last 24 hours, we're just gonna take it out of the marinade, pat it dry in a couple paper towels. You know, and over the last 24 hours, these things have just really soaked up that beautiful miso and soy kind of flavors. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in a pan and then a touch of sesame oil. You don't wanna put too much sesame oil because it can get very overpowering just a little bit to give it some good flavor. Get your pan nice and hot. All right. And really, you, you know your pan's hot when you can start to smell the sesame aromas permeate your kitchen. Black cod is a great fish. It's almost impossible to overcook. We're just gonna start the fish on the flesh side down, and then we're gonna flip it over and let it finish cooking in the oven. You wanna cook your black cod till it just starts to get a little bit brown on it. And that's a beautiful caramelized color. That's a lot of the sweetness that's coming off of the marinade that's also helping it crisp up. Now we're gonna pop this into our oven and prepare the vegetables. We're gonna start by pouring just a little touch of olive oil in a pan a little bit of toasted sesame oil, just to give it a little nice flavor. We'll start out with our sliced garlic in there. And once again, you just wanna cook this till it starts getting a light brown, a light amber color. You don't wanna cook it too much or too fast, then it'll turn bitter and too dark. Okay, now, now that the garlic's just starting to turn amber colored and lightly brown, we're gonna add our shiitake mushrooms. And then we'll add our bok choy. This needs just a touch more oil. Get that all in there. <clears throat> We're just gonna let this saute for a little bit until the bok choy just starts to wilt and the mushrooms are starting to get a little bit soft and cooked. All right, so now our vegetables have sauteed for a little while. You're starting to see a little bit of color on the shiitake mushrooms. The bok choy is starting to wilt really nice. We're just gonna add a little bit of mirin and then just a little touch of shoyu or soy sauce just to provide the saltiness that you need. 
right now the bok choy and the shiitake mushrooms are kind of steaming in the soy sauce and the mirin. And now the last thing, we're just gonna add some really roughly chopped green onions. And they're just gonna give a really beautiful kind of oniony flavor. It's gonna be the perfect foil for our black cod. So first we'll put a nice beautiful bed of our shiitake mushrooms and sauteed bok chow. And look at this beautiful black cod. Look at that. And that's how you make our miso glazed black cod with bok choy and shiitake mushrooms. <laughs>